The medication that we're developing for 2K2D, uh, our code name is MT1621. It's a substrate enhancement replacement type of therapy. Um, it basically provides deoxycytidine and deoxythymidine um, into the body, which are natural products actually. And it utilizes um, the bodies in these patients. They have some residual TK2 um, activity, some of these patients, and there are other alternative pathways that then allow the uh, medication to be incorporated into the mitochondrial DNA. So whereas without this treatment, there is a, a depletion and loss of mitochondrial DNA, this actually helps improve the number and the health of the mitochondrial DNA to allow for normal cellular activity um, in these patients, which then what we see is a dramatic result. Um, some of the things that we've seen, especially it's quite dramatic when we see actually the, the investigators and the treating physicians and the parents do pre versus post videos. Um, our data to date, what we um, have released is what's called our study 101, our retrospective study, where we have a dramatic improvement in survival. In addition, what we've seen, and we'll be uh, evaluating it um, with a variety of other um, studies and patients in our ISC, but what we, what we have seen is dramatic improvements, not only in survival, uh, but improvements and regains in motor milestones, children that are born or become a floppy baby, um, suddenly not only can manipulate their hands, but we have some patients now that are walking and running and climbing upstairs. Um, uh, we have patients that their respiration has, have improved. We have several patients who are on respirators and have been able to get off of respirators. Um, and in addition, we have several patients who, again, because it's a motor condition, uh, they lose the ability to swallow and they have feeding tubes with several patients where the feeding tubes have been able to be removed and they can actually eat normal food. So we are, um, this is a type of medication that as a physician and anyone in the pharmaceutical industry that you dream of being part of because it is truly transformational, especially for these you know, infant patients. Um, it is just um, remarkable. We are planning to file the NDA second half of next year. Uh, and we're on track for that. And we're very excited to hopefully bring this to market initially in the US and then in Europe.